Suerte, kasi naka sweater. Nespresso. Nespresso. Lollipops in the chocolate. Ah! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, my name is Carla. I post videos every Wednesday, and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the Nugget family. I've been promising this video for a while now, and let me tell you, the reason why it's been so delayed is because my room has been a mess. I bought a new closet, I organized things, and up to now, my room still isn't 100%. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up for you guys over here. A little over a week ago, Trina came home from Chicago and San Francisco and all of you guys were already messaging me and commenting on the other videos and on my Instagram for a haul and well Yes, I've got another Trina haul for you guys today. Now, if you're new on this channel, please don't think that I am bragging or showing off in any way. Haul videos seem to be my most popular videos. I know a bunch of you love to see what Trina brings back from the States. So if you guys want to see what goodies I have from Chicago and San Francisco, then please keep watching. Also, I want to say a big shout out to Trend Philippines on Instagram for my gorgeous earrings. I absolutely love them. I will link them in the description box down below if you guys are interested. Let's jump right in shall we starting with probably the cutest thing ever 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 this is one of the reasons why I am so desperate to finish my room already because I cannot wait to just put this on my bed and cuddle with it French bulldog blanket and it is the softest coziest blanket I have ever felt in my entire life. It's from the brand Weekend Lover. I just think that it is so freaking cute. I recently bought a bunch of plain white bed sheets from Mandawa, so this would be perfect to put on top of my bed. Can life get any better? I don't think so. Since I showed you guys the French Bulldog blanket, I thought I'd throw this in as well. No, this is not a stuffed toy for me. This is a giant stuffed toy for kebab. A couple of trips ago, Trina brought back like this duck turkey I'm not entirely sure which animal it is, but it's this squeaky toy that Kebab loves. Like, he is obsessed with it. And so Trina thought it would be really funny to get him, like, a gigantic... I think this is a duck. He hasn't even seen this toy yet because it's taken me so long to sit down and film this video. So I cannot wait to give this to him. I will try to film his reaction to this because I already know he's gonna go crazy. And leave it to Trina to find, like, a gigantic duck doll chew toy. <laughs> It squeaks! I didn't know! Next up, something from Starbucks. Trina never really gets me anything from Starbucks, so when she put this in the bag, I was like, I wonder what it could be, and oh my goodness. I die. She got this from Starbucks San Francisco porcelain tumbler, and it's got the signature San Francisco townhouses. I've never been to San Francisco, but based off of movies and like TV shows, this is how it looks. And what makes this extra cute is that inside the houses there are different kinds of dogs and when Trina saw this she had to get it for me because inside the red house on the second floor there's a brown Frenchie and inside the bluish purple house is another Frenchie I've always been a dog person there's a Dalmatian there's a Corgi there's a Shih Tzu like it's just so cute and of course it says San Francisco on it cereal Trader Joe's strawberry yogurt O's it's a medley of yogurt covered O's cereal yogurt chunks and dried strawberries yum cereal is one of my favorite food of all time I can have it breakfast lunch and dinner and anything with yogurt or strawberries girl I'm there mm. sticking with food this is the Trader Joe's peach Bellini jam I love jams this one just sounds so good it says here in the jar we combined sweet ripe peaches with sparkling white Italian wine to create this unique and tasty Bellini jam light and flavorful it reflects the relaxed spirit of Bellini cocktails enjoyed in the Piazza San Marco in Venice, Italy. It's a jam based off of a cocktail. Trader Joe's, you are doing life right. Sticking with the healthy food, and I say that with as much sarcasm as humanly possible, Trina also passed by Cease and got me the Cease Candies Lollipops Chocolate Coconut Flavor. Listen, if you've never had a Cease Lollipop, please go out and get one. They are so indulgent and rich and smooth and they're probably 10,000 calories a lollipop but I can promise you this they're worth every freaking calorie I love chocolate I love coconut so I already know
know I'm going to love these. This is a bit of a random one. I've never heard of this brand before and when I first saw it, I was a little confused by it. This is the Petro Watt Rio or Guava flavored ointment. It says here that it's a lip and skin ointment with very complicated plant stuff. It looks very hipster and really cool and I'm guessing this is an all-purpose salve maybe, sort of like the Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream or like petroleum jelly. I'm guessing it's good because if it's got very complicated plant stuff, that probably means it's all natural and good for the skin. This would be perfect for our upcoming trip. We're going to London, in case you didn't know. I will also leave that video up here for you guys. It's going to be really cold there and my lips get chapped so quickly. Like the moment the temperature changes, my lips chap up real bad. I know, TMI, gross. So I'm definitely going to be bringing this with me. This is a heavy bag. Oh my goodness. The bag itself is super cool. Trina went to Nike Lab in Chicago and bought herself a pair of Fear of Gods. Is she not the coolest? Ate. Inside this bag, we've got a bunch of goodies that... Let me just say that Tita in me is so happy. Mom and I are currently fixing up our kitchen. Mickey Mouse kitchen mitts. Look at that. How freaking cute is that? I'm gonna put the bag down here so that I can just pull this stuff out as I go. And would you look at that? Another pair of kitchen mitts. Mom, look at it. Isn't it cute? Mom, say hi. Hi. Mom's here too. And it comes with the mitt for the hands and then the square one as well. And it's just in this denim fabric. Very cute, very thick, very practical. Aprons. I have been wanting an apron for the longest time. There's a black and white one and a turquoise one. Doesn't get any more Tita than that. Mom, which one do you want, by the way? The blue one or the black one? So mom said she wants the blue one, so I'm taking the black one. French Bulldog Kitchen Towels. And it says, small but mighty. Which Trina said is me because I'm small but terrible. My house is going to be filled with French Bulldog printed things. And I'm not mad about it. Calvin Klein t-shirt bra. I've spoken about these bras many times before. They're my favorite bras to wear. They're very soft. They're very light. It basically feels like you're not wearing a bra. Calvin Klein bras are so worth the money. I know they're expensive, but trust me, they wash well. Well, they wear nicely and you can wear a t-shirt, a sweater, or a dress and they won't be seen and they still provide support for them lady bits. Not that I have any. And because this is a Trina haul, we can't forget Glossier. In the other haul, she got me one of the new shades of the Glossier lip gloss. She got me the red one. It's called Red Rouge. I used it a couple of times already. It just gives such a nice flush of color to the lips. And this time, she got me the other shade as well. Now this one is in the shade Holographic and it's Super, super cool. I think it's a little too cool for me. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull it off. It's got flecks of pink and purple and gold. It basically looks like a unicorn threw up in this tube. The Glossier lip glosses are really nice. They're not super thick or uncomfortable on the lips. They're not sticky. They're just really, really nice to wear. This is something that I never would have expected Trina to bring back for me, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's just this black jumpsuit with a V-neck and then it's got nice thin straps and it goes all the way down to like a flared bottom which I think looks really cool. She got this for me from Forever 21 and it's part of their day and night collection. I don't know if it's a collection or if it's a brand in Forever 21, whatever it is. I just think that these pantsuits are super timeless and this would be great for my hostings or like for a nice night out. Who am I kidding? I don't go out. I might bring this with me to London and wear it on my birthday with like a leather jacket it on top. She got it for me in the small size, so I hope this fits me. I've been working out every day, sana naman it fits, no? Vita? Vita? Do you think it's Vita, mom, or Vita? Because vitamin? I'm gonna go with Vita, okay? Nutrisource, pure Vita, nutritious dog treats, hip and joint. I don't know if that's the flavor or if it's made from hips and joints. I don't think I need to explain this. You guys have seen how fat kebab is. Now you know why. That dog is so spoiled. We have two boxes of Fannie Mae chocolates in the fridge downstairs. If you don't know what Fannie Mae is, did you even have a childhood? I'm just kidding. When we were kids, we used to eat Fannie Mae chocolates all the time. Fannie Mae milk chocolate, gimme s'more snack mix. The Chicago Cubs version, because you know, they're a baseball team, right? Sports! 
official chocolate of the Chicago Cubs and Wrigley Field. Please nobody come at me if you're a fan of the Chicago Cubs. Smooth milk chocolate, sweet mini marshmallows, and Graham's coated in brown sugar, perfectly combined for a delicious taste that'll leave you wanting s'more. This is going in the fridge because I can feel that it's already a little melty. Again, I'm supposed to be dieting for London. What is happening? I have never heard of this in my entire life, but Trina saw it in the grocery and she was like, Carla likes fruits. Apparently, this is what everybody in the States is sprinkling on their fruits. Tagine? I hope I'm saying that correctly. Classic seasoning. It's a Mexican seasoning with lime. And according to Trina, how they sell this is they have like a carton of sliced fruits and then you're just supposed to sprinkle this on top. That sounds delicious. Maybe I'll sprinkle this on some popcorn. I'm getting hungry just doing this haul. Dang it! Signature Select Sriracha Tomato Ketchup blended with red chilies. This came just in time because I just finished the ketchup that we have at home and and if you can combine two of my favorite things, one being sriracha, the other being ketchup, why not? I'm going to spread this on everything. Because I'm obsessed with Fit Girl Cheat Days and mukbang videos, a lot of the girls I watch are from the States and a lot of them use this. So I was like, Trina, please get me a bottle of Cranch. Heinz Cranch Saucy Sauce. This is a mix of ketchup and ranch dressing. Does that not sound like a thousand calories? Okay, this is so funny. <laughs> The reason why Trina bought it is because she knew that if she just put it in the bag and I looked at it, <laughs> I would laugh. Mom insists that when she saw it, she knew exactly what it was. I'm gonna show it to you guys now without any context and you can't lie. I wanna know what the first thing that pops into your mind is, okay? It's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. Yes, mom, we know. Nyla Bone Powerful Chewers Grilled Salmon Flavored Dog Chew Toy. It's in the shape of a fish. But it's also in this very questionable light pink, Don't have a dirty mind. almost flesh toned shade. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I want you guys to comment down below. Did you know that this was a fish at first glance? <laughs> This is gonna be a party for kebab. Bath and Body Works Pocket Back Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Hand Sanitizer. Because it's almost fall everywhere else but here, it smells delicious. I love these little hand sanitizers. They're just so handy. It really doesn't take up that much space. Nutella! I cannot tell you guys how much I freaking love Nutella. I don't buy it often because when I do buy Nutella, I eat it by the spoon. She had them make me my own Nutella, people! Instead of saying Nutella, it says Carla. I have arrived. This excites me because it makes me feel like such a VIP. Oh, one of my favorite spreads ever and it's got my name on it. No joke, people. I can eat my weight in Nutella. This is something that I was really excited about because Trina got herself the other variant of it. I don't know if this works, but when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, am I a real YouTuber now? Sugar Bear Vitamins. Vegan gummy bears that are supposedly filled with melatonin to help you sleep. Do these work? I don't know. But we're going to find out. I'm gonna start taking these. Not every day, but like on some days. Is this just a placebo? Probably. Coffee! Because as if we don't have enough bags of coffee. Bridgeport Coffee Hard Scrabble Espresso Blend Full Body Creamy Spice Whole Bean Coffee. That sounds so freaking good. Grams Coffee and Tea. That's all it says. We love ourselves a minimalist woman. They smell really good. Okay, we're on to our last thing. And I know I just showed you two bags of ground coffee, but I mean, how much coffee is too much coffee? Is this too much coffee? I did not think it was possible to be so overwhelmed with joy. Ladies and gentlemen, there are 100 Nespresso pods in here. That's insane. Cafezino do Brazil limited edition pods. Decaf pods. I can make my mom some iced decaf coffee. Master Origin. Colombia and Nicaragua. Roma pods. Esperanza de Colombia. Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe. Wow! Zimbabwe! Another box of the limited edition Cafezino do Brazil one. Master Origin Ethiopia one. Oh my goodness! We've got two boxes of the Nespresso Special Reserve. These are the Hawaii Kona Coffee Pods. Kona Coffee from Hawaii. Super rich, really strong. Colombia Nespresso Pods as well. There's a baby box. Oh! This is sick! 
I thought this box was gonna be filled with like more Nespresso pods. It's like a Nespresso coffee set. Nespresso limited edition Cafe Istanbul. Lovely packaging by the way. The box comes with these really cool metal plates and two of these super cute Nespresso glass thingies. How cute is that? That is so extra. Um, hello? Zena Rex Peeler. Before any of you come at me saying, yo, Nespresso pods are not good for the environment, Nespresso has released a statement that they recycle all of their pods. You collect them and then you bring them to any Nespresso store and they recycle it. And they recycle everything from the coffee grounds to the plastic of the pods to the aluminum on top. Could I love them anymore? Oh, so cute. And there you guys have it. Yet another haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much once again to my sister Trina for bringing me back all of these goodies. I am so excited, so excited for the Nespresso pods. There are so many flavors that I cannot wait to try. Your girl's gonna be lit. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave me a comment down below of your Burr Month plans. It's already September. Can you believe it? It's crazy. Christmas is just around the corner. I know Jose Marichan is peeking already from the side. What are your plans for the Burr Months? Are you going on a trip? Are you planning anything with your family or your friends? I would love to know and I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye!